One of the great things that culture and art is capable of is actually giving a physical language to something that is otherwise highly mediated or abstract. Meaning that something like climate change is very difficult to understand because it's just like I can't touch it, I can't measure it. It's not like a, it's not like a ball in my hand. It was actually for the first time possible to sail the Northwest Passage on the western side of the North Pole connecting the two oceans and shortening the way of sailing. And it's been a long time debated whether this will ever, ever be possible. And now with global warming and the melting of the ice, it suddenly is possible. Um, and in that sense, I thought this is a nice topic I'm interested in and the fact that when you see satellite or pictures of, of the ocean, airplane pictures of, of this particular ocean, you see the ice scattered around and you realize that these white ice sheets, they look like small islands or small pieces of land and you, when, if you wanted to cross you would have to jump from one to the other. And um, that had interested me, I'd actually made drawings of that in my studio and I was just interested in the fact that um, a lot of what we know as being stable has become unstable and a lot of the things that we take for granted as out of the reach of change are in fact now changing. So the world as we know it has uh, become a lot more relative. And with regards to the whole sort of idea of nanotechnology, I thought, okay, this is also interesting because in a way, nano is about making what we could not see before visible or making the invisible visible. As an artist, I'm trying to sort out, well, what kind of art or what type of artistic interventions in the world can I do to bring about a more action-driven relationship with the climate or an opportunity for you to see, well, turning your knowledge into action is actually something that is a little easier than I thought it would be. And actually, the climate is not as abstract as I thought it would be. It's right here in front of me. I can touch it and it is understandable. And it's not like big science, it's quite specific and, and so on. I think that art alone should not be the one who communicates the explicified version of what climate challenge is, but it is one of the th great things that I think is exciting to work with as an artist, is, is to make things which we know explicit as something as we feel. Giving it a, you could call it a emotional narrative, uh, besides the sort of data-driven data -driven narrative. The artwork here came out of my interest in, in various other artworks to work with geometry and these more random shapes, this, you could say these sort of puddles or pools or ice sheets. And I'm actually in this case particularly interested in the fact when you look up, you obviously, you obviously see the reflection of the ground because it's a mirror and you look up and you see on the ground. And, and to that extent, it is actually like a ceiling which, which has these small islands, if you want, of the ground, and I've worked with that a few times, but we could also see them as stepping stones. Should we be in a situation where the South Pole melts and the chances are significant, right? It's not just some crazy idea, it actually is. That probably means that half of Boston is completely underwater, not just a little, but like literally underwater. And going around on the campus is likely to be jumping from one stepping stone to the other. So when I talk about these things, I talk about the kind of way that a space contains not just us, but also our action and our ability to interact and share uh, things. And I think art can be a part of that equation and uh, artistic interventions and amplify what makes the, spa the space better. Amplify the fact that we should be open-minded to the extent of understanding that spaces actually have social potential as well. And sometimes you need a language or you need a sort of a a quality in a space uh, which simply triggers that sort of social or that generous type of activity.